Hey everyone, Luke here in another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about if it's possible to put EcoATM out of business in a specific location because I have recently done exactly that and we're going to talk about how I did it and how I know that I single-handedly made them move out of the spot that they were at because of the fact that they were getting little to no business. Let's go. <laughs> Hey everybody, Luke here. So kind of an interesting and cool story. So for those of you guys that watch my videos and that you're in the phone flipping industry, we all know what EcoATM is. For those of you guys that don't know, around two years ago, I had an original idea which spread like wildfire throughout the phone flipping community and that was to make specialized magnets that say, I pay cash for smartphones more than EcoATM. And then the kicker or the secret to this was to use a Google Voice or an app number on the business card that's separate from your actual phone number and we do this for two reasons one we want to be able to track which calls are coming in for the eco atm leads to see how effective each location is if you have more than one location and two sometimes you will get a call from mall security asking you to remove the cards or you know they're going to basically try and give you problems i had one student who tried this method who didn't follow the google number instructions and they basically got a letter from eco atm saying they know about their company and that you need to cease and desist and stop doing this however if you use the magnet method that I teach and you basically put a Google phone number on the magnets there's absolutely no way for them to get back to you and if they get mad or they call you all you have to do is hang up the phone or not answer because it's not linked to your phone or anything like that so kind of a gray area but it's a extremely lucrative business practice just by basically taking these magnets putting them on eco ATM and all the magnet needs to say is I pay cash for smartphones and electronics more than eco ATM and then your phone number in big numbers. I mean, it's it's pretty easy. So it's a call to action for the person. Not to mention people who are going to eco ATM are literally selling their phones for pennies on the dollar. I mean, eco ATM offers little to nothing for phones. So the nice thing is all you got to do when the person calls you is, hey, how much did eco ATM offer you? Oh, they offered you 50 bucks for an iPhone 7. Sweet. I'll give you 65 and I'll meet you whenever. Easy, easy leads, lots of good money to be made with this method. But that being said, as I was walking into the mall the other day to check on the local eco ATM, there's one eco ATM in my area, it's in the mall. I was going in there to put some business cards on it as per usual. And as I was walking, I was texting and walking. I do that a lot because I'm on my phone quite a bit. I look up. And all of a sudden, there's no eco ATM. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I've done it. I literally put so many magnets on this machine relentlessly throughout the past months. I mean, this, this machine's probably only been there for, I don't know, probably 8 to 12 months. But I put so many magnets and so many business cards around that machine that they literally moved it or removed it completely because of the fact that it probably wasn't getting any business at all. What also is kind of cool is the Solaris store right behind it was a store that I used to post advertisements on. I advertised on there. I had part of the storefront. However, Eco ATM sent a letter to the mall saying that we can't have a cash for phone store right behind the Eco ATM. However, every time somebody would go to Solaris and ask for a case or ask to get their phone fixed, we gave them a business card and let them know that we pay cash for smartphones and electronics. So if you guys haven't seen that video or the pictures on my Facebook, that was one thing too. But between that little stand and me working with the owner, getting everyone that comes there to pay cash for phones, like what the owner will do is he would tell his employees that anytime they see someone at Eco ATM to walk over to them and offer them more money and then they'd sell the phone to me. So on top of Solaris doing that and then on top of my magnets, we have single-handedly gotten eco atm to completely remove their machine and you know i'm 99 percent sure it's because of the fact that we pretty much took all their business a lot of people out there are worried about competition and i've said this in a lot of my videos the best way to beat your competition is to outwork them to post more ads than them to make sure that you have a bigger name a bigger face a bigger a bigger brand 
Um, sorry about that. I just choked on air. But anyways, um, the best way to beat your competition is to out advertise them, out market them, have a bigger name, have a bigger brand. That is the best way to beat your competition. And this is a shining example of that. Um, I mean, obviously what I just said right then and there, I literally basically put this eco ATM location and machine out of business and they basically moved the machine and I don't know where it's at right now. I think there might be one at a Walmart, but I think that was pre-existing. Um, but that's probably going to be my next location hotspot. I'm going to start putting magnets at the one in Walmart and see if we can get that one removed also. So I think as more and more phone flippers learn about this magnet technique that I came up with about two years ago or more now, I think people are going to storm the eco ATMs and I think eco ATMs are going to start removing themselves from places because the more people that phone flip and the more people that use this magnet idea that I came out with, the more people are going to be aware that eco ATM does not pay good prices and eco ATM is going to get less and less customers. And eventually I think eco ATMs will actually be completely out of business. Um, I don't think that there's going to be any need for eco ATMs. And I project that in the future, eventually they will all be removed just because of the fact that people can easily put magnets on them or just, you know, business cards, anything like that, you know, slide a couple business cards in the gaps between the metal. I mean, people are going to see them. People are going to call you. You're going to pay more and nobody's going to need eco ATM. But that being said, that's the question. Uh, a lot of people ask, like, you know, is it, is it possible to put out an eco ATM? Like, is, it, is it possible to put them out of business? Is it possible to get them removed somehow? And I have done just that. I'm 99% sure that it was because of my efforts, because of the fact that there's no other competition around here, but because of the fact that I advertise a ton, um, you know, when I put magnets up everywhere and I got the Solaris owner working for me and his employees, they buy phones from the Eco ATM. They literally will walk right over to the Eco ATM while they're selling the phone. And I taught them exactly how to do it. I'm just like, just walk right up to the Eco ATM, ask them how much they're buying for their phone. And I said, offer them 10% more and whatever you buy the phone for, I'll throw you 20 bucks on top of it. So every time the Solaris owner has his employee go over there, he's basically making $20 or more guaranteed on phones. Like if it's, if he gets a really good deal on a phone where I'm going to make like two, $300, I'll give him more money for the phone. But the thing is, is he knows that every time he buys the phone at the eco ATM price, he's getting a guaranteed 20 bucks. And I think he's only paying his employee like 10 bucks an hour. So he probably sees it as every time he gets a phone, he gets basically free labor out of his employee. So it's kind of a hilarious ecosystem just because of the fact that basically Solaris guy is hitting the eco ATM. I'm hitting the eco ATM. Eco ATM is done and gone. It is no longer in the Eau Claire Oakwood mall. So kind of interesting, but just kind of wanted to share this update with everybody. And, uh, you know, can't wait to see another one pop up. If another one pops up, we're going to, you know, basically street tag it with magnets, uh, you know, kind of like uh, you see in the movies. So we're going to have a, I'm the street tag team and we're just going to be tagging the machines with magnets and hopefully get a lot of customers and a lot of business. So for anybody out there that has an eco ATM or doesn't know what an eco ATM is, start getting magnets and go out there and do this. There's a lot of money out there on the table. Another thing you guys can do uh, instead of eco ATMs is you can put your business magnets on ATMs. Now, I've never personally had a problem with putting the magnets on the ATMs. And the reason being is when we are offering to pay cash for phones, we are not taken away from the ATM business. In fact, we're somewhat kind of promoting it because obviously we need to pull cash out of ATMs to buy phones at times. So that's another thing that I've been doing. I uh, haven't really made a video about it just because of the fact that it's I've been doing it. Uh, you know, sometimes I like to keep stuff to myself just because of the fact that I don't like people stealing my ideas and then I don't get any credit for it. Um, you know, that happens a lot. Uh, there's all these phone flipping groups out there. They all copy each other. They're all full of drama. I don't really do any of that. I'm about the money. I'm making moves. Um, and this Friday, I'm going to be having a pretty big check come in. I'll probably share that video with you guys. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, just some other business dealings that I've been into. But anyways, the point is throw your magnets on eco ATM throw your magnets on ATM machines because most people who are going to the ATM, they either need money for a purchase or they need money because they're broke or they don't have any money. So they're constantly withdrawing it from their savings account. So these broke people, these are the kind of people that we want to target for the phone flipping industry. Um, you know, not everybody needs to be broke and that's not always the case, but a lot of the times, uh, if you're in my phone flipping course, you'll recall the video of the five personality types in the document or whatever people who are constantly going to the ATM constantly trying to get money cash advances credit limit advances etc um, you know withdrawing money from their credit card directly uh, those people are you know probably addicts or gamblers and those people sometimes they sell their stuff really cheap those are the kind of customers you want people who sell their stuff cheap so you can make a lot of money 
So that being said, hope you guys all found this video interesting. Hope you got some value from it and I hope it gives you some ideas. So that being said, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.